How do you prove you're from the future if you accidentally go back in time? You can't show them your phone is just a shiny brick once the battery dies. You can't show them the internet because it doesn't exist yet, even if you have a laptop. But what if you could make electricity from scratch? That's something we totally take for granted every single day, but it's the backbone of literally everything from light to phones, cities, everything that you can think of. But here's the best part. The science behind generating electricity is actually extremely simple. All you need is a couple of magnets and a coil of wire. Electricity can be created in a few different ways, through chemical reaction in batteries, sunlight and solar panels, or by motion. Today, a lot of electrical power is made by moving magnets and coils, a process called electromagnetic induction. In a hydro dam or a wind turbine, water or air spins a turbine, which spins a generator, which moves magnets and coils past each other, creating current. This idea, turning motion into electricity, powers everything from your phone charger to an entire city grid. It's the foundation of modern electrification, and it's what lets us move and store energy. Here's what you need to build the simplest generator to make electricity. Cardboard, enamel insulated wire, a voltmeter or multimeter, sandpaper, scissors, a pen or sharpie, ruler, some leads and crocodile clips, electrical tape or any tape, and a couple of strong magnets. Here we go, let's build it. I'm going to dismantle a cardboard box so that I can build a square tube out of it. This will act as the frame to hold everything together. Check that there is enough wiggle room for your magnet. Next, poke a hole through both sides of the tube and slide a cocktail stick or chopstick through it. Now attach two small magnets to the stick, making sure opposite poles are facing each other. This will be your spinning magnetic core. Take your enamel insulated copper wire and wrap it around the outside of the tube. You can secure the wire with some electrical tape. Keep checking that there's enough room for the magnets to spin freely, and you're not tightening the tube. Aim for about 300 turns in total, if you're patient. If not, maybe 200 or 100 turns. This wire is where the electricity or electrons will flow. Because the wire is insulated, we need to strip a bit of enamel off the end so it can actually conduct. I like using sandpaper for this part. Secure this end of the wire with electrical tape. Then clip crocodile clips onto the ends of the wire so that you can connect them to a multimeter or voltmeter. You're all set up to generate electricity. Now give the magnets a spin. You'll see the current starts to flow. And the faster you spin it, the higher the voltage because the magnetic field is cutting through the wire more frequently. But to make it even stronger, you can try adding more magnets. And just like that, you've created the same basic principle that powers entire cities using just cardboard, wire, and a couple of magnets. But I realized my generator couldn't even generate enough energy to power an LED. So can I still prove that I'm from the future? But strong bar magnets didn't exist until the mid 1700s. Enamel insulated copper wires came along in the 1800s. Multimeters were invented in the late 19th centuries and light bulbs or LEDs much, much later. So I guess even with this idea for a generator, I wouldn't have the tools to actually make it work, at least not yet at that time. So that raises another real question. How far back in time could I actually go and still prove that I'm from the future just by creating electricity from scratch? <laughs>